parents, teachers, and community members filled the Jacksonville City Council chambers to tell them the time is now to pass the Duval County School Board's resolution for a half cent sales tax increase. That half cent sales tax would repair and replace some of the oldest school buildings in the state. Action News Jack's Courtney Cole is live at City Hall. Courtney, more than six dozen people waited three hours to speak in support of the sales tax. And John and Tanika, at this hour at 10.03, the public hearing part of the half cent sales tax here at Council Chambers just wrapped up. You can see some people are still outside talking about it right now. Many people who showed up here to City Council were passionate about making sure that Council understood why this needs to be passed and put on the ballot in November. There were 68 people who signed up to speak today, so many that they considered cutting down how long they had to speak, but all of those people got the full three minutes to explain why this decision about the half cent sales tax should be about the best for the students. Why not give those children an opportunity to take their tests in air conditioned classrooms? Why not give our, custo our custodians, our teachers, our social workers an opportunity to work in classrooms where it's comfortable? Tiffany Clark says that's what the half cent sales tax represents an opportunity to make all of our public schools in Duval County a place that encourages their learning process. Do we want our children that we are now raising up and training to be our next leaders to have children that are sitting in classrooms with no AC? Do we want our children's children to have to go through the same things that we are going through now? Clark is a parent of two students in Duval County Public Schools. As a parent, I don't just represent my children. I represent the city of Jacksonville, and I represent other parents. I represent other students that attend schools with my children. She says she supports the half-cent sales tax proposed by Superintendent Dr. Diana Green. If the city council approves adding the question to the ballot in a special election in November, it would start in January 2020 and be in place for 15 years, generating $1.3 billion. We have to give the voters an opportunity to choose. The city council will meet again one more time this month before the proposal is discussed among the full council on June 25th. Now, city council will ultimately have to decide whether or not to put this question on a ballot for voters in November. But here's where it gets tricky. This would cost a million dollars to make it happen, and Mayor Lenny Curry is not in favor of that. Right now, we don't know where each city council member stands, but we will work to find that out. Next on Action News Jackson 11, hear from a principal who says, well, they can't wait until next year for a half cent sales tax. Reporting live inside City Hall, Courtney Cole. Fox 30 Action News Shacks.